Hello there, this is my friend Drake. You may recognize him from this. Currently, Drake is spending one whole year in China doing school. And Drake, we miss you dearly. We hope you're having a lot of fun. This previous summer though, Drake spent some time in Taiwan. And when he came back, he gave us some gifts, specifically a whole bunch of candy. Now, over the past few months, I've been slowly eating all the candy that Drake gave me. And it's been very delicious. And this video is me eating all the candy with some special guests at the very end. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you're having a good time in China, Drake. See you soon. Okay, we got three candies here. Uh, and I'm very excited to try them all. Right now I'm sitting cross-legged and it's not comfortable. And this is a reminder for everyone to stretch and think about your posture. There's a pink Kit Kat. Uh, there's no English on this other than, hey, have a break, have a Kit Kat. And the word Nestle, I guess is an English word. Um, so I don't know what flavor it is. And then of course there's, oh, this does have, it's, oh yeah, this is the honey plum cognac jelly. So this is like jello in a little squeeze thing. And then there is white rabbit matcha creamy candy. So I'm gonna do this one last. I think we'll start with the Kit Kat cause that's gonna probably be a pretty subtle flavor. If it's strawberry, I'm gonna be so excited. Oh, it is strawberry. It smells immediately like strawberry, but very strongly. Now that's strawberry, but it's like almost like sour strawberry. Okay, did I rip this good enough? Yes, there's a hole. Okay, can you see inside? There's like jello. It's kind of clear. Mm hmm. Mm. I had one of these earlier today. It's a very weird consistency. That flavor was also weird. It went down really quickly. Mm hmm. And there's like juice in there. I'm pretty sure K O N J A C cognac. I don't, that's not how you spell the alcohol cognac. I'm pretty sure that's C O C O N G G A C. No, N A G. I don't remember. I'm not a good speller, but uh, this, you could taste honey and plum, I guess. I don't know. That was interesting. These jellies, they're really grown on me. I have a bunch more to try. And then the matcha candy, I'm just gonna, what is this? I'm gonna pop it in. It's green. Does it have like a paper on it? Some of these candies, I swear, they're wrapped in paper. Quite hard. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Little bit of matcha. Okay, delicious. That's all. Hey there. Just about to mow my lawn, but uh, figured I have a little sweet treat beforehand. So, three more candies up. Number one, we're gonna start with the jelly this time. This is a yogurt green tea cognac jelly. So again, we're getting the cognac in there. Um, looking, looking gelatinous. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That one had a weirder texture than the last one. Really good flavor though. Um, I think that's a cognac that like, it's kind of boozy, but kind of nice. And then, not a lot of green tea I'm getting, but that's okay. Let's move on to caramel latte. A uh, little treat here. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. It's bitter, like coffee, but a little bit of sweetness, I guess, from the caramel. Nice chew, very delicious. This is gonna take me a minute to work on. I also got the lychee candy. Very nice from the caramel latte. Last but not least, a little hard candy. Suck on while I melt. Mmm. That's great. That tastes like a lychee high chew. Very sweet, very delicious. Caramel roasted butter pineapple. Doesn't that sound delicious? Look at me, look at me. There it is. Let's take this out and let's give it a try. Looks very similar to the caramel latte one. That is one of the best candies I've ever had. It's delicious like caramel, but it's got this nice sweetness, a little bit of tropicalness. Um, it's very refreshing. 
I really like this texture. I really like these kind of candies. The soft caramel chews, absolutely delicious. Green Kit Kat. This is the one I've been the most excited for. So let's get right into it. Oh, it's dark green. I'm assuming matcha. That's uh, kind of the theme so far. It's very, uh, it's kind of melty like the strawberry one, but. Mm. Mm hmm no. Yeah, that's matcha. I don't have a lot of matcha, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It's delicious. I mean, it's kind of bitter, um, but it's nice. Like, it's not too sweet like you would get in a normal Kit Kat, maybe, so. Mm. Mm hmm Definitely happy with that one. Pineapple jelly time. I'm really excited for this one. I have two of these. It's the only jelly I have two of. It's actually quite disappointing. It's way more, hmm, way more sour pineapple. It's not like that sweet candy imitation pineapple that I'm used to. It's more realistic, a little unripe. I could see how people enjoy it though, but not for me. Okay, my expectations are quite low for this one. It looks like it's gonna be a bad sort of granola bar, rice crispy kind of bar. Um, doesn't seem like much of a dessert, but that's okay. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Very crunchy and not very sweet. Not bad though. Kind of like a cereal bar. Okay, I'm gonna finish this after. But the other thing we got, this little grape guy. Really excited about this one because I need some sweetness after that thing and uh, a good pale purple. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a good little grape hard candy. Great job. Time for a little chocolate. A mandarin orange chocolate. We're doing the one hand thing today. I didn't drop it on the ground. It, it, didn't, it didn't fall on the ground. Okay. Mmm. A wonderful consistency. Mm. Tastes like a chocolate orange. That's so nice. I really like chocolate and orange combined. I also have this lollipop. It's like a squid game. You know? I dropped it on the floor. Alright. It's kind of soft. Tastes like chocolate orange. Very nice. Okay, here we have green tea chocolate, like the orange chocolate. Cheers. Cheers. All right. <laughs> mm. It's a very nice texture. It's not a diuretic, is it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, I guess we'll find out. Do you have any thoughts on the taste? <clears throat> yeah, quite good. Smooth, slight fruity. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Didn't know I'd be on camera that long. No, you did a great job. All right. Hey, Greg, what are we doing here today? We are going to try jelly. Show the camera. Mm. Very nice. Mm. And while you try that, I'm going to have the final of the three different chocolate flavors. This one has red berries. I think it's going to be delightful. It says cactus chocolate. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and tell us more about it. Recommended by pediatricians. Do you recommend it? It was cheap. The cactus one was not that good. Okay. Next, cactus? That's what it said, cactus chocolate. Why don't I get some? I only had one of those, and I gave you the one pink jelly, so be grateful. <laughs> this is a high chew. I may have already tried this one. Wait, but you it's, you didn't eat this right now, right? No. Yeah, that's the one I ate already, and I put it back in the packaging. Well, 
Oh, there's laundry detergent inside of it. There's la <laughs> What flavor? Laundry detergent. Like what smell? It tastes like fucking laundry detergent, Mom. Hey, please don't swear. <laughs> Sorry, Brad. Okay, so what, what kind? Like, because laundry detergent is usually like linen fresh or basil springs or the air. Which one? Can you smell this? What is it? Is that part of the jelly? It was inside the high chew. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You're saying that was in the high chew. Smell it. I'm not gonna smell it. Smell with your big nose. Why isn't there one in mine? <laughs> oh, maybe there was. It doesn't even smell like anything. I don't think it tastes like laundry detergent. What flavor is mine? Blue raspberry. Tastes like blue laundry detergent. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thank you. For giving me the flavor. Okay, the last thing we have. Have you had one of these before? No. I'm not going to eat this. Why? Have you? No. Okay, I'll eat it. Okay. It looks like this. And it says coffee candy. I thought it would be a nice aperitif. You know? I thought it would be a nice aperitif. <laughs> Oh man, it's bitter. I'm not eating it. Greg, you're gonna like it so much. It's really. Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> I don't like coffee, bro, but Diesel really wants it. <laughs> Give it to Diesel, then. Should I give him a lick and then put it in my mouth? Yeah, I think so. It smells like freaking caca. I think you should put it in your mouth. Three. Hey guys, welcome back to another candy review video. We're back at it again, reviewing Taiwan's finest candies for your viewing pleasure. Today we have these candies. Thanks for following along. Have you had all of these ones before already? I have had this one and I've had all of mine before, yes. These are new for you though. Have you had this one at all? Yes. Okay. I don't think I have had that, but I also had never had that green one and it's gone forever. It's crazy. And I, it was really good. Well, it, it was really, it's pretty dark. I just didn't think this was gonna work at all, the lighting. So. What if I put on my flashlight? Okay, this is our options. I'm gonna start with this red one here. Kinda looks like Drake, to be honest. A little bit, maybe. Is that? No, you can say it. It's okay. Fine. I hope he watches this, by the way. Uh, Drake, if you're watching, uh, hey, thanks for watching. All right, so this is what the candy looks like. It's like a little white orb-looking thing. I'm just gonna dive right in. Hmm. It tastes kind of like oaty. No, oat. No. I do know what flavor that is. Yeah. Because uh, I ate a lot of those at the Taiwanese It looks like days. vanilla, but... Vanilla's closer. It's not vanilla, though. Ha no, not hazelnut. La oh, is it like yogurt? Mmm. I'm close with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not lychee. Yogurt, uh... <laughs> is it one of those uh, yogurt things that they have. No. Soju? Yogurt soju. No. I don't know what it is then, to be honest. It, did you ta- uh, Have you taken a lactate today? No. Is it milk? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, is it really milk? <laughs> yeah, it's milk. Oh, it's no, well, like I don't know if it's made milk? of milk. It's milk-flavored candy, is what I'm saying. Crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. Are you gonna spit it? What are you doing? No, I'm gonna. You eat it. I'm I think. Right. I don't think you'll die. No, I'm not gonna. Die. Um, That's nice, actually. I like. It. I like it a lot. That's I think good. it's a good flavor. That's good. It's, it's yeah. better than the other one I had before. I think. I'm gonna join you in that one. I think. I'm gonna um, give this one a. Are we rating them? Is that what we should do? Sure. I'm gonna give. This I've been one... doing that the whole time. Yeah. 
I give this one like an 8.9. Very good. Thank you, Jacob. Okay. Then do it. Okay, I'm gonna eat a candy. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, the next candy I'm gonna go for is going to be this one. It looks like it's silver wrapping paper. It's got it's got like a baseball player. It looks like on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you think they can see that? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna unwrap it and try it out. So this is what it looks like. Apparently it's got little laundry detergent balls in it. What, this? Yeah, according to Greg. Try taking a cross-sectional bite, if you will, please. I, laundry detergent balls in it. That's what, <laughs> that's what Greg kept saying. No it's pretty chewy, it. yeah, okay. Okay, but you can see him poking out on the ends. Oh, that thing? Yeah, is that remind you of a laundry uh. detergent ball in any way? Not really, to be well, honest. It reminded Greg of that, so... Oh, like the white thing? I don't, I don't use laundry detergent balls. Me neither. I just use the... I use game ball, what do you use? I don't know. Whatever, whatever's in the room. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually quite nice. That's bloody lovely. Okay, thanks, Jacob. I'm gonna give it a... 8.4. Great. Wow, that was a lot of candy. It sure looked good. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye, Drake.